We've come down to Hampshire today to see Mike, who's installing our units in the Southampton area. He's fitting a stove near Winchester, and we were passing this beautiful place, so stop for a look. It's called the Hospital of St Cross and was built by William the Conqueror's grandson in 1132 as an almshouse, and is still running as that today, with 25 people housed here in their old age. It's got the most beautiful Norman church and is a lovely place, well worth a visit. Anyway, back to work. So we're down near Southampton with Mike, who's, you've already fitted one of our recleats. Yep. You're gonna retrofit one of them. And um, you know, around this area, you're happy to pick up retrofitting and new fittings for us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Fantastic. Um, we, we do all aspects of um, heating on wood burners, um, chimney lining and, and so forth. Um, and a lot of sweeps pass us on a lot of business where they find defects in the installations. Um, one sweep in particular, he's, he's recommended your Rico heat a couple of times. Um, was that John? John Nottingale. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. It was actually his one, it is house that I went in and saw it going. Oh. Um, and, you know, and that's when I came up with the idea of this one at this warehouse where they have to keep the wood burner outside. That's and, brilliant. And so t tell in. us about this. So, well, basically, we, we're, the, it's a guy that does um, timber woodwork and so forth, but he needed to keep the wood dry. And it's an external brick um, shed, basically, with his wood in. Um, so what we've said, the landlords won't let him put a wood burner inside the building, because obviously there's too much risk. So we're gonna, we've fitted a, a small wood burner outside with a Rico unit on it, um, with some ducting going through into the building. Um, and that, when the wood burner's going, just blows superheated air around the inside of the warehouse and um, keeps all of his timber nice and dry and everything. And what sort of scale is that? How big is the, is the room? Uh, probably a little bit bigger than the van, so it's probably 16, 17 foot long, probably eight, 10 foot wide, and sort of eight foot tall. Great, that, that, and that is heat. And, that, 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 and that's heat, heat. yeah, it's heat, yeah, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So it's not a, it's, it's not a big area, but it's his wood storage area. Yeah. So it's crucial that it's kept. That's right. Yeah. 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 Um, um, it's, it's, it's imperative that it just keeps the moisture level down. Otherwise, yeah. you can't work the wood. Yeah. And so forth. So that's ducting. You're using 15 mil pipe, are you off, off yeah. the nozzle? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. We had a small spigot welded to your Rico yeah. unit. Yeah. And then the 15 mil fitted onto that, and then that goes through, and that's all sleeved and protected. Um, I mean, it's probably a foot, foot and a half long right. from, from where it is right, right. into the in the building. Right. Okay. Well, that's fantastic to know because I mean, because we're starting because we're starting coating ten mil. Right. Um, we're it, coating it internally so that it doesn't, you know, to, to stop heat going into the metal because it lo loses a lot of heat into the metal. But, mm. um, that's. Um, but I, I'm. You know, I've always been worried that we will by moving the heat. We're not shifting the radiant heat rising from the stove, so you're getting proportionally only a small proportion. Of yeah, the, the, the stove. but no, it's, it, it works absolutely fine with the with what he what he requires. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I say, it's the stove's running literally from when he gets there in the morning till the evening. So it's only overnight. You know, they won't let him keep it going overnight. But then we said you can't really do that anyway. So it'll just destroy the flu system and yeah. you'll end up with all sorts of problems. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So what sort of area do you cover? We mainly stay within the sort of SO postcode area. We do a little bit on the edge of the PO postcode, um, but mainly SO. Um, but if people are happy to pay for the traveling and, and so forth, we, we do go a little bit further afield right. now and then. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And I mean, who are you seeing the Rico Heat as working for? Is it people are asking you or are you actually seeing? Uh, no, I'm actually um, mentioning it to people because some people are, are saying about the like the Valiant fans on the tops of the stoves. Um, and I've also mentioned to you know, a couple of customers about these these units. Um, and I think a couple of them are, are um, sort of Googling you and yeah. seeing what it is and how it works yeah. Yeah. and what have you. Because um, they're worried about the pump and 
noises from that. And I yeah. said, well, you know, when you can, when we can, it goes outside. Yeah. So you don't get the noise. You just literally just get the the hot air coming through. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at the moment we're just um, seeing how it goes. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. It's a new, new new thing in every sort of job. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Really. No, no, that's fine. And we'll uh, put your van up and. Uh, yeah, and, and yeah, well, that, that's actually.